Kids in the Philippines. I was talking to Steve down in Ibiza about this probably two weeks ago because um, he was saying about his partner's got some kids and you know he didn't want kids in that before but now he sort of um, got that attachment because the kids in the Philippines are quite uh, I think the word is probably uncorrupted um, they're innocent and uncorrupted nothing has destroyed their world yet <laughs> they haven't got to the hassles of making money to get by every week they haven't got to relationship issues politics and everything else they're just enjoying childhood um, I think in the West there's too much emphasis on kids growing up too fast in the Philippines kids are allowed to be kids a lot more although there's a lot more there's a lot of pressure put on them at school outside of school they're pretty much running wild most of the time um, I know in our own little neighborhood there must be at least 14 kids under 12 and they're generally running around and up to kid stuff but what I find interesting is in the UK that doesn't really happen people are paranoid about uh, child abusers they're paranoid about drug addiction and you know the safe the very everything's becoming a safe area the child play parks are sort of being removed because of drug addicts shooting up on them at night the um the green grass areas they've sort of been sold off for housing developments so you become very limited on what's available outside but in the philippines although a lot of areas don't have a lot around them the kids still play in the road and stuff and because generally people are moving a lot slower and what have you there's less risk for a child to be hurt um, but also there is always watchful eyes um, because like for me I sit on my balcony and I'm watching the kids out on the road playing what have you um, there is no stranger going to go anywhere near those kids at the same time my neighbour over the road has I don't know how many relatives living there but there's always somebody keeping an eye on all the kids and they function as a group so the kids have this sort of protective bubble of adults and stuff around them um, but at the same time run free they're up to all sorts but they look after each as well, each other as well you find the younger ones are sort of looked after by the older ones and the reason I'm bringing this up is it's a fresh a bit of fresh air um, I'm happy our kids had the childhood up until their, their age now in the Philippines because they have a strong connection with their grandparents because they spend time with their grandparents every day. They would go, you know, I'd be working like through the night, sleeping in the morning. The kids are down having breakfast with their uh, grandparents, sitting in the shop you know spending their time with their grandparents may uh their grandfather takes them to school and brings them back they they have a very strong bond with the grandparents in the west it sort of gets disconnected in many ways i know with my own mother um with my daughter before there would always be an excuse not to babysit you know i know some people oh well you know it shouldn't be expected to babysit spending time with your grandkids uh, once a month or once every couple of months isn't exactly pulling people out the people should actually naturally bond with their own families um, but I find in the West you're finding people are becoming more and more silo they're individuals and this is what happens is they separate themselves from their own kids as well as the kids going off to start the families etc and then complain that they don't have families to go back with their family don't visit me anymore etc but they will never mention that they sort of push their family away as well because uh, it's a two-way thing because i remember an old ex her uncle used to cycle to pick the kids up from school and then drop them off at the house now Bearing in mind, he lived about eight miles away, and the school's only one mile from the house, but he did it because he was retired. And that was, him, A, keeping him fit, but B, getting to spend time with the kids. Now, bear in mind, that was not recent. That's about 20 years ago. Um, and this that didn't happen 20 years ago. What I mean is I was told that 20 years ago, but he was doing it 10 years prior to that. Um, 
those sort of things have been disappearing. Um, in the Philippines, you find you have this relationship between grandparents and the younger kids. Because um, a lot of time the parents are working. Um, but they keep this strong bond together, which is another positive thing for the Philippines. Um, but I just wanted to, I thought I'd share that. Um, because, you know, the family life, I do like a lot of the stuff in the Philippines, the way people bond together. Um, I like the way the kids are allowed to be kids and not burdened with the constant pressure of a changing world and you should be thin, you should be this, you should be this. Kids just need to be kids. Thanks for watching.